must do it! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Bitty Beanie Guy. I'm here to bring you just a quick little video on some information that we picked up last week. Now, uh... It was found out that uh, apparently back in January, Lars Sullivan, I'm sure you know who he is, was probably uh, one of the Vince McMahon's monsters that he would try to have push on the main roster, which didn't work out too well. Uh, honestly, Lars had a damn good career at NXT. And uh, like most and many wrestlers that go move over for, to the main roster, his push was a little lackluster. Now, it was, you know, found out that Lars, he was suffering from, uh, you know, mental illness issues and whatnot, high anxiety, you know, he, uh, and it would it would hit him bad, especially with the, you know, coming up from the, to the main roster. You know, I guess it was just nerves or whatnot, you know. You don't know exactly how these guys feel. Standing on that stage, of all those people, all the fans is cheering, and you know what I'm saying? It's just probably like the overwhelming nerves, you know. But yeah, apparently that was uh, the case with Lars Sullivan, and you know, for a long time it, it cost him along, alongside some of some, some some knee injury, a knee injury that probably put him out for a little bit over for more than nine months. You know, it took him out for a year at least, so that kind of derailed a lot of momentum as well. But uh, here I was just checking out an article. SB Nation. Uh, Sean Reuter wrote an article, and uh, Sean Ross would get in contact with Lars Sullivan and get his side of what happened with uh, with WWE. And uh, here in this article, you learn that when well, we talked about the mental health issues and stuff and all that, not to mention, you know, that the recent passing of a loved one. You know what I mean? So that can take a toll on you. You know what I'm saying? Naomi was one person who had to take a little time off to do the same kind of thing. She you know that, that little time she was gone, she was having issues. Now, I don't know if it's mental issues or whatever, but we all know that mental issues are nothing to play with. We all know somebody or we all have a family member who suffers from mental issues. And even though they don't talk about it with us or whatever, that is probably something that, you know, it plagues their lives. So I could understand exactly, you know, given the fact that regardless of what you think, man, he, yeah, he's a big intimidating guy. You know what I'm saying? So that don't mean nothing. We all human and we all suffer in the same way. It's just different. You know what I mean? With that being said, uh, along with other numerous issues that plagued Sullivan's run in the WWE, he told Sav responsibly. He was responsible because there was a lot of shit we all know about, you know, the... Uh, homophobe stuff, you know what I mean, that was going on, yeah, and Lars Sullivan was involved with such homophobe stuff, so that right there didn't sit well with what was going on, uh, turns out he had, like, a bunch of, he was, he was, like, saying a bunch of stupid shit, you know what I'm saying, doing a bunch of stupid shit, and you know how it is, man, when you a professional, working for a big company like WWE, you ain't got no room to slip, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and he admitted to his actions. You know what I'm saying? He right here, as you see, calling out, uh, calling some of his actions uh, idiocy, and the ramifications uh, are a result of his own selfish behavior. You know what I mean? And this is the big thing right here, because I know you probably read it already and looked down at it, but do say he is most likely done with professional wrestling. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You know, uh, also, I like to say, I like to state that he, that WWE did handle this a little better than they more normally handle these types of releases. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, they, you know how WWE could do. They, they let you go. They hit you with the, you know, wish you well in your future endeavors message. And here I'm starting to think <laughs> that future endeavors goodbye message is a fuck you from WWE because coming along with it is six months of downtime. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Now, I don't know if ex exactly what's going on with Lars, but shit, apparently he said he's going to be done, so it ain't got no need for no six months of downtime. And you ain't got no need to send him a fuck you letter, WWE. You know what I'm saying? So, Lars Sullivan, man, I'll say it for you. I wish you well, sincerely wish you well on your future endeavors. I know you probably ain't going to be a professional wrestler anymore, and that sucks because I actually was a fan. You know what I'm saying? You was a beast. But you got to, gotta at some point in our lives, you got to take that, uh, that, that, that shit that's making you bad, all that stuff that's inside of you, you got to take that shit and hold yourself accountable for it. And that's what he did. And it takes a real man to do that. So, Laura Sullivan, I send a shout out to you, man. Like I say, wish you well in all your future endeavors. I hope everything works out for you. Uh, I hope, uh, I'm sorry for the loss of your father. I too know what it's like to lose a parent. So, uh, having recently just lost my mother. So, uh, yeah, Laura Sullivan, you have a good life, man. And be careful out there. Don't let the world get you down. Don't let the world kill you. Because uh, that's sure what it's trying to do right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this your man, Beta Beating God. If you enjoyed the video, just go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, I'll get back with you on another note.